Hello again, Year 6. First of all, thank you so much for sending me your All About Me forms and your photographs. I've really enjoyed looking through those, reading all about, about you, finding out a little bit more about you and learning to recognise you from your photographs. If you haven't filled them in yet, then please do. Um, it's not too late. Um, I still want to find out about you and I want to be able to pass those forms on to your form teachers um, so that they can read a little bit about you too before they meet you in September. I've been really pleased to see how much you are looking forward to joining us at BRGS in September. Lots of you were talking about how you were looking forward to meeting new people, making new friends, meeting new teachers and trying out new subjects. And I'm really pleased that you're excited and are looking forward to coming. One of the things that you did tell me about that worried you a little bit though, was the size of the building and how you'd find your way around. With this video, I've also given you access to a video made by Sam, one of our year 10 students. He's done some filming in school and he's going to take you on a tour around the building so you can see some of the rooms. And I've also given you a map and the places on the tour I've labelled in red on the map. So as you watch Sam walk about the BRGS building, you'll be able to follow on the map and see exactly where he is. And I hope that'll help you get your bearings a little bit. It's not quite the same as being in school and exploring it yourselves. And I can tell you it won't take you very long to learn your way around. It is a big building, but you soon learn where things are and with, you'll always be with your friends and going around in a group. So it's very, very rare that one student gets lost on their own. And of course, after the first few days, the other students will be back in school too. And they're there to help you if you get stuck. So if you meet them around the corridors, They'll, they'll tell you where to go if you get lost. And there's always the ladies in the general office. If you're unsure what to do, where to go, then you can always go there and they'll help you. Another thing that was worrying quite a lot of you was the thought of meeting so many new people and trying to make new friends. Not all of us are confident and outgoing. Some of us are a bit shy and a bit timid and starting a new school can be a really anxious time and can make us feel a bit frightened and a bit scared. But as I've said before, most people feel that way, so you're not alone. On your first day at BRGS, we're going to give you lots of opportunities to talk to the new students in your form and to get to know each other. There are a lot of you that are the only person from your primary school coming to BRGS, so you won't really know anybody at all. And even if you've, there's a few of you coming from your primary school, you aren't necessarily in the same form. It's more likely that you'll be the only one from your primary school in your form. So that means everybody's in the same boat in a way. Nobody really knows anybody. But it doesn't take long to learn to recognise people and to make new friends. And we're going to support you in all the ways we possibly can. We're going to have lots of fun in those first few days at BRGS as we get to know you and you get to know each other. So please don't worry about making new friends. You will make friends and we'll help you. Some of you told me about being a little bit worried about the work at BRGS and whether it would be so much harder than what you were used to at primary school. We will challenge you at BRGS. We want the work to make you think and give you new ideas and new ways of looking at things. The thing to remember is always to keep trying even when you get stuck. We want the sorts of students that are not going to give up on a problem, that show a lot of resilience as we call it, not those that are just going to give up at the drop of a hat. And don't remember your teachers are there to help you. So although you might not be able to do something straight away, we're going to be there to support you, to help you, to enable you to do it eventually. And it's that stickability that we're looking for. Lots of you will have been the very top students in your primary school classes. And it might come as a bit of a shock to find you in a form with a lot of other students who are equally as capable. The thing to remember though, is that you've all earned your places at BRGS and you all have the potential to be really successful students here with us. 
as I was reading through your forms, quite a few of you were worried about what would happen if you were late to lessons or late to BRGS in the morning and whether you'd get into trouble. Well, I can tell you now that for the first few weeks at BRGS, no one is going to get into trouble for being a little bit late to lessons. We understand that you're finding your way around a new building and it'll take you a little bit of time to realise which are the shortest routes and the quickest way to get there. So we expect you to sometimes get a little bit lost and be a little bit late and nobody's going to get into trouble for that. If you're coming to school by bus and the bus is late in the morning, then that's not your fault and you're not going to get into trouble if it's because the bus was late in the morning. Quite a few of you are a bit worried about the routes to school and how you'll get to school, whether it's by bus or by walking. There'll be more information about the bus journeys a little bit nearer September and we'll let you know about that nearer the time. But it's always good to have a little bit of a practice run through during the summer holidays. So if you're walking or cycling, you can practice the route, see how long it's going to take you to walk from home to BRGS and then that'll give you a little bit more confidence in September when maybe you're coming on your own for the first time. Quite a few of you were worried about trying to be more organised at BRGS and it is true that you're going to have to take a lot more responsibility for yourselves and your belongings. You'll carry all your books and pencils in a rucksack and I would encourage you to get something that's comfortable because it's going to be quite heavy sometimes and you're going to be carrying it around school. We will give you a locker and there are details in the information on the website about the size of padlock that you'll need in order to be able to lock your locker securely. So for example if you have PE in the afternoon you don't have to carry your PE kit or your coat that you wear outside around with you all day. You can put those in your locker in the morning before school and collect them at lunchtime before your lessons or before you go home. At BRGS we want you to be what we call BRGS ready. That means that you're ready to learn and you have the books and equipment and things that you're going to need for your lessons. It's important to get into good routines and good habits to make sure that you don't leave important books and equipment behind. What I suggest you do is that you have a copy of your timetable at home, stuck up maybe on a bedroom wall or on the fridge in the kitchen, somewhere where you can find it the night before school you can look at it carefully and you can pack your bag with all the things you're going to need the night before and go through it lesson by lesson and put into your bags the, the books and equipment that you'll need for those lessons. That's a really, really good habit to get into packing your bag the night before. But we do know that moving to secondary school is a big change and sometimes, you know, it's easy to overlook one or two things and maybe you're not quite as ready as you'd like to be. And again, to begin with, don't worry, we are not going to get really cross with you if you've forgotten one or two things in the first week. We're going to give you those early weeks as a chance to get, get into good habits, into good new routines. We'll support you as best we can so that you become independent learners. Another area where you'll need to be organised is with homework. And quite a few of you were worried about how much homework you were going to get, whether you'd be able to keep on top of it, and what would happen um, if you forgot to bring a piece of homework with you to school. Again, don't worry about homework. To begin with at BRGS, we just want you to get back into coming to school and enjoying your learning. So for the first few weeks, you won't get any homework. You'll be tired enough after a day at school without having more work to do at school and we want you to get good night's rests and not be worried by having piles of homework to do as well in those first few weeks. But soon we will start to set homework and to help you stay organised we're going to give you what's called a planner in which you can write down the homework we set you and you can write down what day that homework is due in. You can also write down how long the teacher expects you to spend on that homework. And that will depend upon the task and it may be different in different subjects in different weeks. Sometimes it might just be a 10 minute task doing a little bit of research. Other times it might be a, bit, a little bit longer like 20 minutes, half an hour because the member of staff wants you to do some written work and see what you know. We also use Google Classroom which is an online um, method of 
recording your homework so you can log in at home and see what tasks have been set. And we'll teach you all about how that works when you get into BRGS in September. Your planner has also got a lot of useful information in the front too, so it's not just for recording homework. You'll find information about our behaviour policy, but we'll tell you a lot more about that when we start in September. And you'll also have space to write down your timetable in your planner, so you'll always have a copy and you'll always know where to go. At BRGS, we follow what's called a two-week timetable. So you'll study a whole range of different subjects and you'll have them all a few times in that two week period. And then the cycle starts again. You study quite a lot of different subjects. So let's see if I can remember them all. There's English, maths and science, the core subjects. Then there's the humanities, history, geography and RE. There's the art subjects, art, drama and music, languages, German and Spanish, computing, PE and PSHE and the technology subjects, product design, food technology, and textiles. And I think that's everything. If I've missed some out, you'll be able to tell me in September. So you're going to have a number of different teachers for all those different subjects. We're not all equally good at everything. There'll be some subjects which you really enjoy and you find uh, come to you really easily. There'll be others which are a little bit more challenging and we're, but we all have our weak spots. What we need to do though, is really focus in on our weaknesses and try the best we can in every subject. That's the only way that we'll improve and get better. We need to remember that failing isn't necessarily a problem. We might not get it right the first time, but if we keep trying, eventually we will get there. We might not be able to do it yet, but eventually we will if we put the effort in. And that's what we're looking for at BRGS, students that put effort into their work. We can't all guarantee that we'll be outstanding, fantastic students at every subject, but we can all make progress if we put in effort. I hope this video has given you a little bit more information about BRGS and there's lots more information on the website. But don't worry if you don't know everything before you start. We're all there to help you, to help you settle in, to learn about BRGS and to make new friends. We're all really looking forward to seeing you and I hope you are too. I will write to you again before the end of this term and I'll tell you who your form teacher is going to be and which form you are in. And then during the summer, I'll write again and let you know what you're going to need on your first day at BRGS. Things this year, of course, may be a little bit different from normal years. We'll just have to see. We just need to keep everybody as safe as we can. Don't worry about that either. We'll tell you all about that when you need to know, just before you come back in September. Thank you very much again for all your All About Me forms. And if you haven't sent it in, please do with your photograph. I'd love to read about you.